Martin, you were very disappointed after the result on Saturday against Liverpool. You were disappointed against QPR as well. What seems to have, have gone wrong, especially away from home over the recent weeks? No, of course, if you don't do well, you know, you want to do better. You want to uh, probably put some effort in training sessions. And then, of course, Sitwell picked up the fifth booking and you have to make a decision on Berbatov. Can he play that role all the time? You know, you've got a lot of games coming up. And, of course, he has to do a, a lot more, uh, say, in games than he's used to do. So you, you, you try to play him up front and play in a different shape with a, a third midfield player, like we always used to do with Brian Lewis. And I have to say that didn't come off, you know. We played with two offensive players, Giorgio, Giorgio and, uh, and Kim Richardson. We wanted to support Berbatov, hold the ball and then support from the flanks. and. And, you know, we didn't play well enough to do that. And then we conceded an early goal with a set play again. So it was very disappointing. If you get that sort of disappointments all the time, you know, you lose a bit of your, your spirit and you don't want that. And that is why I talk about warriors and players who can pick up themselves and pick up the team and uh, take the games by the scruff of the neck and, and, and come up with a reaction. And to be honest, I thought we did that the second half. I changed it, there was a gamble, put Berbatov because I know that he will play. And he was probably uh, you know, one of the best players on the pitch, but doesn't help if you're down 2 now. And then if you see the, the third goal, mm. Downing never scored a goal this year or last year. It was nil assists, nil goals, and then he scores against us. And you know, That is very disappointing. But even one goal in the second half, if you saw the first half, you really thought this could be you know, a big defeat and, and in a way you feel, you know, if we could keep it 3-0 or 3-1 score a goal and then be back in it, but uh, uh, we had 50% possession, so that means that we played a bit better, but it was not good enough and yeah, then you come up with all the excuses in the world and, and of course people, you know, you try to explain things, but it doesn't help because there's only one thing which is important and that is that we pick up results and that we pick up uh, at least five or six points and then we will be out of the relegation battle. Uh, if not, we are right in it. From the beginning of the season, goals weren't difficult to come by. You were scoring a lot of goals. Obviously, the combination of players that you had at the time was helping with that. Will Brian, coming back from injury, hopefully in the next game or two, make that different? Is it a question of looking in the transfer window in January? The, the goals have been hard to come by over recent weeks. Yeah, I said it, it was black and white, and maybe you shouldn't say that, but every time when Brian played, it, it didn't necessarily mean that we didn't concede goals, because that was a worry. Yeah. We could concede more goals than ever before. And, uh, of course, we had different players last year, more defensive players, and that helps, of course, with set plays, for example. But, uh, yeah, if you score three goals at Arsenal with Brian, five goals in Norris, uh, three goals for Zemtin, three goals West Bromwich, who were on top of the game, then... Of course, you know, you, you have to forgive us for coming up with with reasons and, and that is probably one of the reasons. But on the other hand, Dimitar can play in that role as well, but he's not like Brian. He's not someone who will pick a pass or, you know, he's more someone who will make you play, who will make you tick. And that is what we have to do, you know, even when Brian Ruiz is not playing, we have to pick up the results or come up with a player who can do the same. We did that against Chelsea. Maybe you remember that I played uh, Karo Gunas in that hole. Mm. And we defended well, first half, but we could never get to their goal, you know, and that is my intention, to try to do something and score goals as well. Second half, I changed it again, Dimitar was in the hole and Hugo was up front, and we had three or four chances. Mm. So, with us, it's always a, a big struggle, you know. Uh, uh, of course, if you look at other teams, they play with the same 11 or 12 players all the time. I, I had to use so many players because of all sorts of uh, reasons, and that is not... Uh, that didn't help, but it's an excuse again. So we have to try to get everyone on the board. That is number one. But the second thing is we have to convince people that we care for the club, that we care for the supporters, and that we uh, are capable of doing the same what we did before. And that is get the right results. You know, I can talk about them scoring goals in all, almost all these top games against Liverpool or Arsenal, whatever. But he's not there, and we've got other players who are as good, and uh, we've got other players who are fantastic. 
But of course, a few things change, but hopefully uh, we can cope with it. And you talk about the transfer market. Of course, we will try to uh, get things straight. We want to be a successful team. And I think we were a successful team before. And we will get back to winning ways, because otherwise, yeah, you know, the fans will be very disappointed. And even the players, you know, it's their, it's their life, it's their job. So we have to come up re with results. And maybe that is with new players, because we don't go crazy. But we will always try to do something in the market if they are better than what we've got. Two home games in quick succession, though. Obviously, teams in and around where Fulham are at the moment. So it's very important, A, to get a performance for the fans, to get the fans behind the players, but also to try and pick up the points in the next two home games with the with the run of fixtures as it is. Now you look at the teams who are doing well, they are 23 points or 24, 25 points. So it, the difference is not big, but we have to show that we are, uh, say, in the, in the same group of clubs like, for example, Swansea. You know, I think they are 24 points. So if we can pick up the results now, we will be fine. And But that will still be a struggle after that because you need to win games to get 40 points. And forgive me for saying that, but that is our first priority, mm -hmm. to stay in this league because that is that is the main thing. And after that, we will have a look, you know, because if we can have 24, 25 points, half of the season, why, why not finish with 50 points? Last year was a bit more. But this year, you know, it's, it's a bit different. So I will be very happy between 45 and 50 points. It's a tricky time just in terms of injury still. I believe that Damien Duff is uh, out again. Mladen Petric is out again. Mohamedou Diara is a doubt. Brian potentially back 50-50. It, it must be very difficult for you having all of these injury problems when you'd started the season so well and this has now caused a bit of a, a hiccup at this stage. I said it a couple of weeks ago, hopefully Diara will be back, but he wasn't. Uh, and uh, Bayer always, and of course Petric was a, a disappointing uh, one last week when he dropped out, because he's, he's a player who can come on and score a goal. But uh, Damien Duff is a workhorse for us, you know, good player, six assists, uh, three or four goals, so he did well. But well, we can cope with that, because De Jaga is a good player, you know, we've got the players up front who can do well, so sometimes you don't have worries with injuries. But we had a couple of injuries, you know, in, in vital positions and hopefully they will come back now and stay fit. So rather than be gloomy, we have to be positive. We've got Boxing Day and we've got Swansea and there are no, six but points that's left. That's what we said before the Liverpool game. But I was probably the loneliest person in the world, you know, on that, on that uh, line. And uh, you don't want that because if I feel lonely, the people around me will feel, feel lonely and feel bad. And the players will have the same. So we can't shift the... Uh, problems to other, frustrations to other people, so I stay positive and you will see that two weeks ago the world looked good, you know, yeah. we had a good win against Newcastle and it was important points. Two weeks before that, you know, I wanted to stay for five years, you know, <laughs> so it can change at Fulham every every fortnight, the world change and hopefully it will change again in the next two weeks. Is this your toughest time right now? Yeah, you could say that because I... Uh, I told them yesterday, there's a lot of players not used to this uh, string of results, but I'm not used to it, so, but that doesn't, uh, Christmas is nice and important, yeah. but you don't have to be happy at Christmas, but I will be very happy, hopefully, just before the new year, after five or six points. I hope the next time we talk, we're both very happy. Okay, good. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Good. Thank you, you too.